Dear listeners, good morning and welcome to Comme d'Archi, the podcast that opens the doors to the fascinating world of architecture. For newcomers, let me introduce myself. I'm the spokesperson of Anne-Charlotte Despont, PhD in History of Architecture, published author, head of a communication and development agency based in Paris, France, dedicated to architecture. Let's meet every week to discuss culture and architecture with specialists and learn how to look at projects through a context and diversity lens. Thank you for being with me today, and now it's time for talent. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Dear listeners, hello, this is Esther on behalf of Anne Charlotte. Let's have a short Comme d'Archi today to gently accompany this Christmas period on a symbolic but non religious subject. A way, perhaps, to remind us through the history of a major architectural work of what could have constituted friends or good old friends. For my part, and like many of us, I hate violence. Seeing Paris abused and haggard weekend after weekend affects me deeply, and I am looking for the spark that could help regain confidence in the institution. A real Christmas gift. That would be nice. Let's remember why the French Academy was built. It is housed by the Palais de l'Institut and often nicknamed La Coupole, Le Quai de Conti, or The Old Lady of the Quai de Conti, so many expressions that mark the consubstantial link that unites the building and the establishment that occupies it, wrote Pierre Mesmer. He was Chancellor of the Institut de France. Thus, the National Institute of Arts and Sciences was created in 1795 by the new constitution of Year Three. The aim was to prevent the government of France from being concentrated in the hands of a single power. After its first steps in the Louvre, the Institute had to give way to the masterpieces brought back from the Napoleonic campaigns gathering the great works. Then the National Institute of Arts and Sciences, which would become the Academy, was established within the walls of the former Collège des Quatre Nations. This college itself had been built a century and a half earlier by Mazarin to unite France. To bring together the four ultimate territories of this France, which physiognomy is almost identical today. The four nations of France, England, Normandy and Picardy. And the circle is complete. The program of this college was to be able to teach young French and assimilated students the arts and sciences, to gather Mazarin's collection of works, and to build a chapel to house his tomb. The building was to be erected as a signal, affirming the unity of church and state at the end of the Fronde, tracing a glorious path for the young reign of Louis XIV. Colbert, then intendant of the Cardinal Mazarin, was given carte blanche to choose the architect. He chose the young Levaux, recently appointed architect to the king after Le Mercier's death. And this despite the humiliation of Italian architects and artists. The dice were cast when Mazarin died on March the 9th, 1661. Colbert would continue the work and choice of the site would have been ratified after the death of the commissioner. The first architectural proposal dates back to 1657 and ultimately led to the final Baroque project, a theatre layout closed on its sides inspired by the courtyards of Canterbury castles carved into a hemicycle, such as François Mansart at Berny and Blois, the castle of Faux that Levaux had just built himself, or the effects of the Piazza Navona in Rome. In 1662, the project was almost final. Except for the chapel, it changed little during its construction. On the side of the quay, the composition is framed by two pavilions topped by high attics, a specialty of French architecture in the heritage of medieval towers, underlined Jean-Pierre Babylon. These right bank towers are also found in the Louvre. Babylon adds to his description. In the center of the structure stands the college church, with central plan taught by a dome, a recurring theme in religious architecture. It provides the necessary actual motive and echoes the dome pavilion that Levaux himself built opposite in the Louvre. Between the three insistently vertical highlights, the architect designed two lower wings curved in a quarter circle, which end in two straight bays joining the pavilions. In depth, three successive courtyards are arranged. One remains confused by the virtuosity that had to be deployed to order and harmonize the constructions on such an uncomfortable piece of land. 
only an illusionist's talent made it possible to make people forget the oblique line of the rampart, giving the appearance of an actual arrangement bordered by symmetrical buildings, concludes Babylon on the layout. This true urban project, a work led by the promoter builder Levo, one of the most active on the Inde Saint Louis, was completed by Napoleon with the Pont des Arts made of iron, illegally heralding the industrial era. Therefore, a whole path dedicated to knowledge to provide a roof to the Parliament of Scholars. In addition to prizes and foundations, the Institute contributes to the work of scholars through its library, which collections have been enriched over the years by exceptional donors. Knowledge is what gives freedom, not screaming in hordes on the barricades. Today's knowledge is concentrated in servers with tenfold search powers so much more accessible. How lucky are we? Rather than giving in to violence and laziness, which today has the intention of pouring into an ocean of cyberspace and salts, like plastic in the oceans, let us rather use the strength and our symbols to move forwards in a sustainable way. Don't be surprised, I'm taking a few days of dessert vacation. Let's meet again very soon at the start of 2021 on January the 4th to be precise with new interviews and subjects. Until then, let's keep our hearts warm and Merry Christmas. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to tune in to our previous content on Instagram at Comdarchi Podcast. If you like it, make sure to promote the podcast by giving it five stars on Apple Podcast and adding a comment or on any of your favorite podcast platforms. And don't forget to subscribe and listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon. And until then, take care of yourself.